Hi guys, this is SDJRSNF88 speaking with update 7 of the GWR 2600 project. Now, I can only apologise for how long it's been since the last update again, and I would like to thank all of you that have been asking me how the project has been coming along. But finally, I've made some time and I've overcome one of the most major hurdles for this project, which we will take a closer look at in this update. So if you could cast your minds back to update 6, I was coming on to the most major point of the project, which was of course mounting the running plate that I had constructed to the chassis, uh, and in doing so, also attaching the front uh, bogey. Now this was a bit of a hurdle, and as mentioned I had a number of ideas on how to mount this. Of course I want to make the running plate secure to the chassis, but at the same time I want to make it strong enough. So if the engine has to haul trains backwards, it can. And I finally sorted it. So if I flip the model over, I'm not sure if you can see this, it's apologies for the poor lighting, we are now up in the loft, which I forgot to mention. But it was actually relatively simple in the end. I was originally going to go for an idea of this L plate, which was going to go around the front, and I did construct it. But I found a simpler way, which is in fact so simple, I couldn't believe that I never thought of it in the first place. But anyway, as you can see, on the bottom here there's a little bit of plastic, now this does need to be shaped still and of course it does need to be painted but I thought I'd leave it white uh, as it is so it's a bit easier to see before I get onto that part. But what I've done is I cut this little bit of plastic card and I drilled a hole in there and underneath where that screw goes to, or bolt, um, that was where a screw used to go which used to attach the Lima 09 body to the chassis. Now that is a direct hole all the way through to the top. So what I did is I got a drill bit and I threaded it through the hole and pinpointed the precise location on the running plate above, which I just simply drilled. So I just drilled a hole in the running plate, no modification at all to the actual chassis, and I put the bolt through. And then, as you can see, there's a little nut on the top there, which I will glue into place because it'll be the only way that it will stay there. Uh, and then I just simply just threaded the bolt through and it was attached. And once that was attached, uh, of course I left an overhang so you can see where the Lima 09 chassis sort of pulls up a uh, curves round there. Um, this little plate that I've added in goes perfectly straight on. And then on top of that, um, I basically, well, I drilled another hole, a larger hole this time for uh, a larger bolt, which is the perfect size for the front pony truck, which is this um, off the old Airfix Large Prairie. What I did is then I threaded the bolt through there and the bolt perfectly lines up with the hole where the uh, old tension lock coupling used to pop into the chassis. So that simply slots in there, glued that on there, and basically, hey presto, we have a pivoting pony truck. And it's all very simple, still needs finalising. Of course, as I mentioned, that nut's got to be screwed on there uh, to make it a permanent fixture. So if I want to get the pony uh, truck off, and of course the body off, all I have to do is undo this one screw here, this one bolt, I keep on saying screw, bolt, uh, whatever you like to call it, I just have to undo this one bolt and basically the whole body will come off and also the front pony truck. So it's all very simple and of course it's so level as well, I couldn't believe how level and well the chassis has gone together as you can see there. Apologise uh, again for the lighting if it goes a bit blurry, um, I haven't got my, um, my nice spotlight up here at the moment, but yeah. It's all done and that means we can move on to the next phase of the project which is of course assembling the body onto the running plate and then hopefully we will have a complete model. At the moment I cannot put the body, uh, the boiler on as that bolt there that I've put through does need uh, a bit, uh, about a millimetre or so cut off so that the boiler will sit on there nicely and then what I could do is I could then glue um, the boiler to the frames and the cab on and so on and so forth and then, but before that, I've got to glue that nut in or otherwise I won't be able to get access to it. And then basically, it'll be adding the final details. So all the little details around the cab and of course finalising the bits and pieces on the tender. But now that the model is at this stage, it means we could do a thing that I've been excited about doing ever since I started this project, which is of course giving it a test run. So without further ado, let's pop the chassis on the layout and see how it performs. Right, here she is on the track, 
and as you can see just for good measure I've attached the uh, tender. Now remember she is an old Lima 09 chassis I have tested this in the past and it does seem to run okay though there are a few issues. The first is the uh, front pickup behind the front wheel it does have a habit of popping out uh, which I still yet to rectify but once that is sorted it should run a bit better but don't expect smooth quality uh, quiet running like most modern locomotives she is a bit noisy but let's see how she performs with her modifications so I'll give her a bit of power now away she goes Well, I think we could call that quick test a success. Obviously not the best of running qualities at the moment. The chassis does need a full service and a clean and of course that pickup issue does need rectifying. Another thing that I noticed during these short test runs is that the front wheel also lifts off. Uh, I think this is because there is no weight above it anymore but once the boiler is added which has got quite a fair bit of weight in it that will hopefully press down on the chassis and improve the connection between the uh, wheels and the track uh, thus hopefully making the running a lot more smoother. So I guess that's all for this update. Again massive thank you to all of those of, uh, of you that have been constantly reminding me about the about the project. Uh, it's great to see that there are so many people that are still interested in the outcome and hopefully the model, uh, complete model, when I finally get round to it. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to you guys. It really has sort of given me that extra push to actually get round to doing this update and I'd like to thank you ever so much. So I guess what to do from uh, this point on is basically add the boiler, add the cab, and then it's on to the finer details and hopefully we will have a complete model at some point. So anyway, that's all for this update. So this has been SDJR, Cinefa88 speaking and thanks for watching.